Stars and Stripes RC at Bloomfist Park. You guys out here with the 1700 millimeter FMS rescheme that me and Joe Ray did on it a long while back. Shark of Zambales. It's a Filipino Air Force scheme. They had some uh, P51s back in the 40s. So what I did was I actually did uh, what some guys are doing that. Uh, I, I put the Corsair 1700 millimeter motor in it, 120 amp ESC, and uh, a lot of guys were doing that and flying it on 8S, at least they were on the Corsair, where they were just actually swapping the ESC and flying 8S, but uh, I'm not going to be doing this on 8S. I want to I wanted see, I want to see if... Uh, it just has a little more than scale speed to it. I don't, I don't want my planes doing 120 miles an hour. Uh, the plane flies great out of the box uh, scale, and that's how I like to fly. But I like, I, I like to see if it has just a bump more. Um, I'll be using the Slipiri Air 5000 milliamp uh, pack on it. Once I'm down, if it all goes well, I'll check the level of the battery. I got the timer on this set for five minutes. Um, you know, I, I respect guys that, that like to have a lot of speed to their warbirds. You know, it is what it is. I respect you guys, uh, but I'm more of a scale. Uh, I like to fly scale, like a warbird. Uh, well, I say like a warbird should, but a little more speed to it wouldn't hurt. So we're going to try to do this off the grass over here. I don't know what to expect. If it goes good, it goes good. If it goes bad, it goes bad. Uh, part of the hobby. It is what it is, Justin. We've got Justin Newland on the camera. Good morning, everybody. Part of the Full Throttle Productions. Oh, she you can see beautiful. the size. We'll see how it goes, man. I'm a bit nervous because I don't know what to expect here. But we'll see. Check my... Uh-oh, I got one aileron that's not functioning. We're going to pause and check that out. Back. All right, guys. I had a aileron lead that came disconnected from the multi-connector in there. So we got ailerons right and left. Always check surfaces on the ground. Up, down, right and left. <coughs> Got power. Hopefully this won't be too bumpy here. Just take it to the runway. Okay. Well, I can feel the wind off of that prop, man. Yeah, she's got power. All right. <laughs> After all that, let's let's freaking get this thing in the air, man. Let me get a full throttle. I'm expecting this to have some torque from that motor. Woo! 
Nothing like a re, 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 re maiden. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Hands are cold, 38 degrees. It's a great day for flying. All right. And we're off. It was rough. Let's step across the runway, Justin. I'm going to land it in the grass when I land it. Okay. I want to get it a little more trimmed. Well, this is six sail. Like I said, I upgraded the motor. I put the 1700 millimeter Corsair motor in it. And uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to have any much more, if any, power than it did with the original motor in it. So the only, uh, I think the only thing that it will be able to do is to uh, actually go to 8S. The reason I didn't want to go to 8S is because uh, there were some guys that uh, said that plastic prop hub was exploding under the power of 8s on that corsair and i imagine some of that could be managed with throttle management but i, I don't want to have that happen in in flight and lose the plane altogether so it's just it's just going to be a scale flyer you know, it is what it is, and it's all right with me. I mean, I'm good with how it flies. Oh, you see that? I did. Act yeah. like it wanted the tips uh, stall. Got a little wiggly there. And I was the down low. I think. I think it just has a little more torque to it you know i'm gonna put my gear down i'm gonna go ahead and uh, land it okay it's a big slow plane and Let me, uh, I'm going to try to Nice. Well, well it, it, grass ops are nice on that. Huh? Grass ops are nice on that gear. She took it pretty well right there yeah, in that rough yeah. patch. Yeah, it was bumpy. Yeah. But I tell you what, man, it was kind of hairy there for a minute, that little stall I got. <laughs> That'll wake uh, you up quick. So, yeah. I'll fly at scale. It is what it is, like I said, and uh, if you want to pause that again, we'll go back and check the level on that battery real quick. All right, go. All right, you guys saw it firsthand. I don't cut nothing out of my videos. Had a wing drop on me. I, sh I thought for sure this damn thing was going to go in. Uh, 
it it just it's just going to be a scale flyer on six cell period um so i might try a couple of four cell 3300s and do 8s so again liperior has hit a home run with their liperiers i flew that full throttle most the whole flight for five minutes and after five minutes 64 percent left Jeez, that's awesome. uh the liperior air you you can't i mean i'm telling you I've tried SMC and SMC. I don't think holds a candle. Personally, that's my opinion, people. Liberia Air is the one to go with. I'll put my uh, link to those guys on the video as well as my discount codes to FMS. Check those out. Thanks for watching.